In this video, I want to try as best as I can to encapsulate what 2015 was to me. The trials and tribulations, but more importantly, why it was the best year of my life so far. Let's begin. I don't know how new you are to my channel, whether you have been here for all of 2015 or whether you just subscribed 10 minutes ago. So I will try and give a slightly expedited summary of this year. I started 2015 off at a tough spot in my life. Okay, maybe not that tough, dang. In terms of YouTube, I was at 50,000 subscribers and had some lofty goals on that front. However, I was still going to school as YouTube was still just a hobby. Although I was attending my dream school, which is the University of Michigan, I was struggling really badly, mostly due to my self-alienation. I didn't have friends, I closed myself off from fear of rejection, and so with me studying computer science, a subject extremely difficult to progress in solo, I felt academically defeated. YouTube, on the other hand, was something that I had full autonomy over. I was excelling, having obscene amounts of fun, my editing skills and video production were improving, and I was growing the samurai community slowly but surely. I was putting more and more effort into my YouTube channel, and that sort of precipitated what happened next. My parents weren't really thrilled with the whole YouTube thing at that point. Still living with them and not even having my own room to record in, I slept on a blow up mattress in our living room, I decided that I would be moving out. And so I did. And that was probably the scariest, most adult thing I did in my entire life up to that point. I packed up my things and got a dorm room on campus back at my university. I spent a few months attending school and making videos when I had an epiphany. I was starting to really dread my classes and most of my joy was coming from YouTube and the videos that I was making. And so doing some math, I calculated that I was indeed making enough for my videos to move into an apartment and pay for food. YouTube had become more than a hobby at that point. It became a dream. I fantasized what it would be like to make videos for a living. And it was a reality that I so longed for that I decided I was going to set a goal for myself. I was going to leave my university. And if I could amass 150,000 subscribers in a year's time, I would do YouTube as my full-time job. If I failed, I would just return back to university and finish my computer science program. Telling my parents, on the other hand, <laughs> was probably the hardest thing. I've ever had to do in my life. I'll skip the intricacies of how that went, but my parents understood and respected that it was my life that I was dealing with, and as a growing adult man, they would have to respect my decisions whether I failed or succeeded. But let me just say, since I was going for my dream, I didn't fear failing at all. In life, we hold ourselves back so much out of fear and failure. Who knows how much we miss out on when we do that? What if I was too scared to try the whole YouTube thing? There'd be no Cory Kenshin, sucker. At least, <laughs> or at least the one we have here today, I would be on a totally different path of life. Failing or succeeding, only God knows, but I saw the opportunity to try out YouTube, and so I took it. And guys, <laughs> not, <laughs> not only did we reach 150,000 in a few months, but in seven months time, we've managed to accumulate more than double that goal. We are standing strong, my samurai brothers and sisters, at 347,735 samurai as I'm looking right now. <coughs> Guys, <laughs> are you freaking serious right now? Like, I gotta thank God, my father. I got to. If you've been here, you know I got to thank God, my father, for the insane and incredible opportunities this year brought in and for staying by me, although I do not deserve his presence. And secondly, I must thank the samurai. You guys literally changed my life this year, but I will elaborate more on that later. Going back to where I was, I told my parents I wanted to do YouTube full time and went for it. I hastily looked up some nearby apartments, found the cheapest, best one and dived in. Although in retrospect, that really could have turned out ugly, but it did not suck it. So I moved in, didn't even have my own bed, but I had my own space to record in, and slowly but surely I built my recording studio. You guys did so much for me this year. You funded me going to my first convention, PAX East, 
which allowed me to meet my YouTube inspiration, Yemi Mesh, who turned out to be an awesome guy. I also met Jacksepticeye as well, and even got to meet a few samurai. You guys funded me building a PC since I was doing everything for my laptop at that time. You guys helped me raise over $30,000 for charity at our 48 hour livestream. You got clean water to over 1,000 people. Uh, shout out to that legend Scott Cawthon. And I could go down the list of things you guys single handedly helped me achieve this year. I found games like Yandere Simulator, Geometry Dash, Subnautica. MKX and so many more that you guys love to see me rage at and every time I record an episode I am having the time of my life making a living from the comfort of my own home and I know okay that December in these last few months I've been really lacking with videos I admit complacency and a feeling of being burnt out took me over but thankfully I've already dealt with those demons and with that I really want to take some time to thank tear of grace He's really helped to keep my channel afloat in my neglectfulness. He shouted me out so many times. The guy is a legend, okay? You make sure you keep an eye on him also this new year. He's gonna be big. And while I'm at it, I gotta thank all my YouTube buddies. Poised, probably the loudest screamer that I know. But he is also a legend and he has a huge heart as well. Mavitak, OG-chan, I wouldn't have been able to get this far without all of you. So thank you for keeping me sane. For the new year, I want to make a lot more YouTube friends and get myself out there more, that sort of thing. I kind of want to record something with the homie Dashy, but I have no idea how that would work. And so for 2016, I plan for the samurai to really make an impact on this world. I have some really massive goals for the new year, starting with raising $100,000 for charity for 2016. Now, hey, hey, okay, before you freaking click off the video like, is this guy freaking insane? I know that that is a lot, but I have faith in this group of people. Do you know the things that we did last year? I will be having at least four charity streams this year, one for every quarter of the year. The first stream is going to be a 24 hour stream and that's going to be January 9th, 2016, starting at noon. So really quickly, this goes out to all my samurai artists out there. I, right? I want to have the kind of charity go where like Markiplier and I've seen some other people do it to where like you buy a t-shirt and all the proceeds go to charity. So I need a design for like a Cory Kenshin Samurai Charity 2016 kind of thing where you could incorporate whatever art or games and we can sell the shirt for the charity. Please email PNG files of the designs here. I will be picking a winner for the charity shirt January 7th, 2016. Moving on, my goal for the channel is simple, my brothers and sisters. All right, now that I know y'all are not playing, <laughs> nearly tripling the goal the first time around, I would like to see the channel reach 1 million subscribers before the year ends. And hey, we are super far away, but I know we can do it, guys. I have faith that we can, all right? I also know I didn't make a video for the 300k milestone. Don't worry, I'm cooking something up. <coughs> cooking. <coughs> and with that, my friends, a final thank you is in order for this year. I had such a blast, and I shudder to think of the insane and crazy awesome experiences that await us in 2016. It has been an honor as the ankle-breaking shogun to have such a positive and incredible community. Honestly, and this is honestly, this is low-key, alright? Don't be freaking putting this on blast or whatever. But honestly, I think you all are among the best communities this website has to offer. Point blank period. The samurai are a legendary group, and I am so glad to see you all taking care of each other in the comment section. I hope y'all ready for 2016, cause we about to get it in. I love you all so very much, and until next time, my brothers and sisters. Oh, and sister samurai, slice that like button. <laughs>